And it goes a little something like this. Hit it. Okay, Saints 144. Angels on the front lines for Yeshua HaMashiach. Um, yeah, they, who would they be? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, they are the fallen that are possessing Satanists and witches and gang stalkers and um, those that deny Yeshua and even worse, come against Yeshua and the Most High God. And they are coming in the form of our neighbors and the postman and whoever it may be, just like in the movie, Fallen. Anyway, um, I'm very aware that they have encamped around me at a new place, <laughs> yet another place. And I was on a roll now. Father was really speaking in the last video. So if you haven't watched it, please watch it, um, which I just uploaded. And right as I start to talk about the fallen being cast into the lake of fire, it goes off. My, my um, camera shut off. So it's about 30 minutes long. But I'm talking about a bunch of different things and I got off topic. So I believe that Father was wanting to reach a few people that have not yet been saved and you um, chosen individuals that are really being persecuted um, to, to help y'all a little bit with what's going on. So now I'm going to focus on the actual message that Father wanted me to deliver, okay? So that is about the whirlwind coming. All right. So on the 15th, I received a word of knowledge from father and he does things in threes so he'll give me three different messages that all go together and then he may use some something online someone online to confirm it but i never get my information from other people i go to father i hear from him i get downloads from him then once i have three of them or he really stresses something to me then I will share it. And then I will get confirmation from other true end time saints, true followers of Yeshua. Okay. But don't go to man. We seek the most high God first. Okay. So what I received on the 15th was Matthew 26, one and two made a video about it on the 16th. Okay. And it was about after two days is the Passover and the son of man, Yeshua, is betrayed by loser Judas, gang stalker Judas, to be crucified. Remember what happened to Judas? He's going out to all you satanic clown posse. Ancients, he hung himself. Not going to go well for you. Um, anyway. After two days is the Passover and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. Father gave me that on the 15th. And he told me to count from the 15th, three weeks. Three weeks is the beginning of the Passover. I didn't even know when Passover was. I was just, I was aware it was sometime in the beginning of April. It's April 5th. So it was no accident that it was exactly three weeks. Three weeks is also symbolic of three days, three days of darkness, okay? And Father, Son, Holy Ghost, again, Father does everything in threes. So that will, Passover is coming April 5th through April 13th. I'm not going to go over all about the Passover. We passed through the firmament. That's in the last video, which is part one. Please check it out. I just uploaded it, okay? But I'm talking about a bunch of different things. So now I'm trying to focus on the main message Father gave me about the whirlwind. All right, so Yeshua is betrayed to be crucified. We, as believers in Yeshua, we crucify the flesh daily. That's what the last message was basically about. Um, okay, so we crucify the flesh daily. We pick up our cross daily. We die to self. We die to the world. We die to worldly things, worldly possessions, things that the people of the world that are under a strong delusion that are going to be cast into the pit unless they repent and turn to Yeshua. We follow the lamb wherever he goes, okay? We give up everything. We're not of the world, so the world hates us. If we were of the world, the world would love us, 
All right? So when you're outcast, that means that's a blessing because we're not from here. We're a peculiar people, the Bible tells us. We're odd. People are always trying to watch us, trying to figure out what makes us different. How come they can't take us out? How come their witchcraft doesn't work? Or if it does, it's not doesn't last, it doesn't take. Father said, for no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It didn't say, for no weapon will not be formed. It will be formed, but it will not prosper. They might take us down for a minute, but they're not going to take us out unless it's Father's will. If you are being obedient to the Most High God, then you should have no fear. We go up, okay? If you're living in sin, then yeah, your protection is going to be diminished, if not taken off. And that happened to me recently when some witches, Satanists, gang stalkers uh, succeeded in food poisoning me. But I had willfully sent, well, it wasn't really willful. It was just from so much stress. And I had sent. And Father allowed me to get a little bit sick. Didn't It wasn't like a serious thing, but and he showed me, your protection is lower, daughter. Do not go back into the world. And that's what we're, we're doing. This is the final hour. You have to get all unrighteousness out. Anything dark cannot ascend. It's dark. It goes down. It's heavy. We are light bodies, so we need to cleanse our temple. Our temple is our body, okay? All right, so that's all on the last video, which is about 30 minutes long. I'm not going to get into that again. Now I'm going to talk about the whirlwind. So Father gave me the Passover. The Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified, which was in three weeks from when I got the word. Which uh, The Passover this year is April 5th through April 13th. Um, all right? So that was the first one. Then Sister Francine, shout out to you. Sister Francine messaged me after I got that word of knowledge, telling me to check out another end time saint and to be honest i think i may have heard of her from francine once before but i haven't watched her videos but i did find her and sister francine after listening to my video on the 16th of this month about being shown the passover three days and all that um could that be when we go up she said to check out colleen mentor okay and I looked. Her page, y'all check it out. Y'all can read it. I'm going to say the basics of what she was given. So Sister Colleen Mentor was given, she posted this this past week. And I think it was like right around the same time I got this, this word, which is also more confirmation from Father that where a lot of us are being given similar messages, okay? We're all connected in spirit. Just like the satanic hive mind is connected by Satan, Satan's mind. We're connected by the Most High God, the light. We're of the light. Colleen Mentor, Sister Colleen, shout out to you. Um, she was given on April 16th in 2021, but she just reposted it. Um, I don't know what it's called. I don't do that, but it's like your message page or something. Um, that she and Michael, she didn't specify who Michael was. So I'm assuming, and my apologies if I'm wrong, but I think she means Archangel Michael. She and Archangel Michael had not met yet, but they were weeding, weeding. <laughs> they had, yeah, they're weeding out the weed from the tears. Wow. What a weird, but awesome slip of the tongue weeding out the wheat from the tares yeah the separation of the wheat from tares father said it, it's it's done son the line in the sand has been drawn anyway she sister colleen had a dream that she was shown she and michael were waiting to meet each other as she stood a whirlwind of dust came up from around her feet a voice from the whirlwind said two days and she said it can be seen in the prophetic as two years which from april 16th of 2021 would be coming up on april 9th and 10th that goes right
right along with what I was given on the 15th about being crucified. We're dying to flesh before we can go up. We have to get rid of every kind of thing that ties us to this world. And the fact that I was given Passover, which is April 5th through April 13th. And she said it was April, would be April 9th and 10th. All right? So that's, the, that's another tie-in. But now I'm going to try to put all this together. It's, there's a lot going on, y'all, a lot. Okay, so this is amazing. So on St. Patrick's Day, I decided to get up really early. I wasn't getting very much sleep and decided to just go, go for a walk. I'm in a new area, okay? And I was walking. There's nobody around and out of nowhere. I got the leaf blower out in the rain like an idiot. Yeah, a leaf blower appeared, which is nothing new. It happens to me wherever I go. They use noise harassment. And uh, got a fallen outside my window right now, and I'm not joking. He, it's not actually flying by. It's a neighbor that's being possessed by this thing. They're Satanists. Anyway, I rebuke you in Yeshua's name. Monitoring spirits, I cast you out in Yeshua's name. All right. And so I'm walking and I was being surrounded all of a sudden. And a leaf blower came out. But this was the interesting part. I have This is a new one for me. I've had the leaf blowers come out in the rain because they're the loudest of all lawn equipment. So they do things to lower our vibration, irritate us, and make us resonate at a lower level, which these slee stack blows rotate at, right? But I haven't had this one yet. So here it is. I don't know what y'all can see. Let me do it again. Sorry the leaf blowers are gonna be illegal in heaven, but there's gonna be plenty of leaf blowers in all these Nazis here. I don't know what y'all can see. I don't want to like show my location, even though they know where I'm at. I just don't want to broadcast it to others. Hopefully you can see that there's going to be plenty of leaf blowers and all these Nazis here. <laughs> all right, I don't know if y'all can see it or not. He's in the dirt. He's in the dust right over there. And um, he came out of nowhere. I was about to cross the street and he came out. He's not doing construction. That was a road closed or something, but really it was just a pothole. And so, and no, I'm not in New Orleans where the potholes are plentiful. But anyway, um, yeah. And he came out of nowhere and started blowing dirt from the street into my face. Oh, snap. So I had to cross over like catty corner. I jaywalked, y'all. <laughs> anyway, that's even funny. Jaywalked like they're mocking Jesus. All right, anyway, I just thought of that. I'll try to show a little bit more. Hold on. I just don't want the street sign in there. Hold on. You can see the dirt being blown into the street. It's fucking weird. Okay, so y'all can y'all could see it. I'm sure y'all believe me. It was blown right at me. And then when I got maybe another not even a I'm not even gonna say that. Fifteen steps and was far enough away, he turned it off. And I was like, what in the world? Well, a whirlwind of dirt. And I even come on and told y'all they were blowing dirt at me. Okay. This is tied in with what Sister Colleen said, that it was going to be a whirlwind of dust. It was dust and dirt. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. A whirlwind. Then Father finally told me, 
why all the leaf blowers are already around um, are always around some of us okay leaf blowers symbolize whirlwind we're going up in a whirlwind okay just like elijah went up in a whirlwind there is a whirlwind a chariot of fire 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 in the hole the chariots of fire those are the arcs those are some of the angelic army coming down they're positioned over the 144,000. They're positioned over wherever we're at, wherever a dwelling is, even if you're outside. They're on standby. They're our backup, okay? And they come as a whirlwind and pick us up. So that blew me away, but it gets weirder. So at this place I'm at now, I thought, well, they stole my smoothie, and then, you know, I was given it back, but... They had done something to it, okay? And I ended up, well, I won't even talk about that, but they were attempting to poison me with a with a smoothie, okay? It was for witches because they're cowards. They have to do thing in, things in groups where we stand alone because we have our Father who art in heaven with us, so we're actually never alone. But, okay, so I had the, I was given the um, the Passover, the Son of Man, is crucified he's betrayed and crucified okay and then the leaf blower was the whirlwind then sister colleen gets the connection with the passover and the whirlwind of dust okay and then what i did was i ordered i'll show y'all what i ordered Okay, let me, let me say that again. If I'm not yelling right into the two turntables in a microphone, you can't hear me. So they mess with my sound. So I'll say that again. So I once I got here, I'm in yet another place. And I thought, well, I can't even enjoy. Um, it's very rare that I ever order food to go because they tamper with it. Um, but if you're traveling or whatever and you're just too exhausted to walk somewhere once you get somewhere with your luggage and you're walking and you're just too exhausted or there's nothing nearby i have ordered food but it's always tampered with okay um so i very rarely ever treat treat myself to anything so the smoothie was like a huge treat to me and it wasn't cheap either i was like what when did these go up to this much but i thought well it's got fruit and a lot of fresh things in it i'm trying to cleanse my temple repent and cleanse my temple and then that happened where they walked out with my smoothie and then were trying to curse me and put whatever in the smoothie so i thought you know what i'm just gonna since i might be for, here for a little while i pray whatever father says i do so i mean i could be told to leave right now for all i know or it could be a month or they could run me out next week it doesn't whatever father says i follow the lamb wherever he goes but i thought well since i'm gonna be here I'll just get a blender. I'll order a blender. Well, first I went to look for one and I couldn't find one. So I ordered one. And it was supposed to take three days, y'all. You can't make this stuff up. Three days. Three days of darkness. Um, what I was given about the three days and then the Passover. And Yeshua is given to the betrayer to be betrayed. Given over by the betrayer to be betrayed which was what I got on the 15th, all right? Crucify the flesh before you can ascend, before you can go up. This was supposed to be here in three days, just a little personal blender. This is this is what I got. It's this little cheap thing for 20 bucks, okay? It doesn't work. Don't use one. Don't get this. I'm going to have to return it, I guess. Um, it doesn't even crush ice. It barely even blended a banana. But whatever. So I was all excited to get it, and I was keeping an eye out for it because they tamper with our mail. Yes, even the mailman's part of it. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Why do you think they put that in there? Because they're part of it. They work for the governing of the mental. It came a day early. What is that? Two days. Sister Colleen said two days. Two days, and then is the Passover. She said she... Sister Colleen got, let me see.
the whirlwind that came to her in the dream while she was waiting for Michael, okay? The voice from the whirlwind said two days, which can be seen as prophetic two years, which would be coming up on the Passover, April 9th and 10th. It's in the middle of the Passover, okay? So I found that interesting that the blender came a day early, two days instead of three. What does a blender do? It makes a whirlwind, y'all. It blends, it churns, it spins things up. Father is doing a great shaking. Everything is going to be turned upside down. Just like when Jesus said, you can destroy this temple, but I will build it back in three days. That means if you tear down your temple, meaning you crucify your flesh, thank you, Father, and you give your life to Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will be rebuilt from within. You will be reborn. For we do not taste the second death because we have already died to self on this earth. Thank you, Father. Fire in the hole. So the blender and then Sister Colleen's tie-in, which Sister Francine, thank you again for giving me her word of knowledge because I, I didn't know who she was or anything. Um, but I know she's anointed. I listened to a couple of her things after you gave me that. Um, and then the blender and the whirlwind, which was the leaf blower, which all these years of being tormented by leaf blowers, and they have never done that before with the dust. Again, ashes to ashes and dust to dust. So I'm still 